Ladies and gentlemen of this Red Gamer Telecom video, we, I thought it would be a good idea to inform you that NVIDIA's new drivers, that would be 334.89, that's a WHQL release, actually upgrade your performance by about 19% in specific titles. Now obviously, what the performance boost is compared to the previous uh, WHQL release, which was 332.21, Incidentally, and somewhat off topic, just for a second, those were the drivers that I used to benchmark the GTX 780 Ti. So, obviously, in certain games, for example, Sleeping Dogs, um, my results are actually now off by 18% because these latest drivers actually increase the frame rates by 18%. So, basically, 20% of extra free performance, not shabby. F1, for example, we're going to be getting 19%, Assassin's Creed, 10%, uh, Bioshock Infinite, not quite as good, but still 7%, not bad, free performance after all. In addition to that, you're seeing full Maxwell support with, of course, the recently released uh, and announced GeForce GTX 750 and 750 Ti, and we've also got improved SLI technology, for example, they've added the profiles for Liberation HD in Freedom Cry, as well as uh, Human Revolution Director's Cut and the Crew. And we're also seeing improvements to the GeForce Shadow Play technology and Twitch streaming. They've added support for that. In finally, um, NVIDIA have also improved the ratings for Shadow Warrior, Stanley Parable, Walking Dead, along with others in terms of 3D vision support. So I find driver updates are pretty important to cover because a lot of times people just completely forget to upgrade their drivers. And to be honest, there have been a couple of instances where even I have been fairly naughty and forgotten to update for like three or four months at a time and then just pretty much get a reminder and it's like oops so these are just it, it's a pretty good practice to do it not only of course are you going to be getting better compatibility with your titles for example uh, may stop them crashing or just better performance frame rates as a whole but of course you get extra utility better hardware support and all the other bits and bobs that you would expect so once again just go to nvidia.com just to get that uh latest driver update anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care bye for now